Citizen Television. Hey, greetings and welcome to another episode of the Planetary Persuader. I'm Cosmic Kev, your host, and we're talking about the week from the 19th of December to the 26th of December. So I want to say happy holidays to everybody. I mean, it is Hanukkah has been going on for a few days right now. So um, Hogsmanayak, happy Hanukkah to my uh, Jewish brothers and sisters and to my Christian brothers and sisters, Merry Christmas, and to my cultural African-American brothers and sisters, Happy Kwanzaa, and the pagans around the world, Blessed Yule, Happy Solstice, we're all in this to, together. This is huge, folks. We have a, a new moon happening this Sunday at um, 5.36 p.m. at... Zero degrees, six minutes Capricorn, believe it or not. Um, So, let's put this over here in Capricorn. So, we are going to have the Sun, Venus, Pluto, and Mercury all in Capricorn. It's quite a stellium. That's five illuminaries there. So, that's, um, what does this say? This is a cardinal... This is a cardinal conjunction, folks. Um, This is serious stuff because this indicates we're in a new cycle, a new beginning. And we would even say this, you know, even in Vedic astrology, I'm certain that we would be, this new moon is in the nakshatra of Mula. And Mula is ruled by Nariti and Alashkshmi which sometimes can erode wealth, but Mula people tend to have wealth. It's Jupiter ruled. They're well taken care of. It's also, its planet that rules it, though, is Ketu, the South Node. And here's the deal about the South Node. Um, It comes with our past life karma. And it doesn't see things just on the surface. It sees them with a lot of depth. We associate the nakshatra of Mula with a lot of healing intense healing and with roots and herbs things like turmeric ginger burdock ginseng um, astragalus echinacea things that the roots have a lot of value in it to heal and help people and so um, we just appreciate mula is also we're in that place of the galactic center of the universe so a lot of energy that's coming out of the universe has a a very special magical universal appeal and that's why we burn lights this is in the northern hemisphere it's the darkest time of the year so we're starting out this weekend actually with the moon in sagittarius so the sun's still in sagittarius moon's still in sagittarius right now um but uh by sunday afternoon at uh Oh, 5.25 p.m. There, thereabouts, we have the full, we got the full deal, folks. We've, we've got all of these luminaries together. And so wherever Capricorn hits you on your charts and having your own personal chart, knowing your own rising sign, this makes everything like this gel, makes everything fly. So wherever that zero degree Capricorn is in your Western astrology chart, that's where all this new energy and this new changing is. And this is also the beginning of a cycle, we would say, in um, Vedic astrology of moksha. We're learning to liberate ourselves, you know, from from the past and become more spiritually enlightened in, you know, the, in the final stage in the winter time, and in the last four signs of the, of the zodiac. So... 
without any further ado, um, other, only other new thing happening this week that is huge is we have Saturn moving into Sagittarius on the 23rd at 8.33 a.m. So on the 23rd this week, boom, bam, whoops, <laughs> that is so funny. Well, we'll have Saturn in Sagittarius, so that is, that, that's got to be symbolic in some ways, you know, the sun fell down and Saturn fell down, and Saturn doesn't like the, the sun, but, hey, could you get, could you get help me with Saturn too? <laughs> now, Saturn always needs a little bit of help, and I didn't want to miss Saturn, this may be edited, so, for, for your future, uh, thank you so much, okay, so, what do we know about Saturn and Sagittarius, well, um, I know that people with Saturn and Sagittarius in their charts tend to be idealistic because Saturn deals with restrictions and Sagittarius deals with expansion and freedom. So how can restrictions and expansion go together and get along? Well, they do. They kind of tolerate each other. Okay. And, um, what we're going to see though, is that people who do have Saturn and Sagittarius are very idealistic. They, they look for the better in the world and people, and they often are persecuted for their beliefs. Let's talk about the um, late, great Martin Luther King Jr., uh, Saturn and Sagittarius, Che Guevara, revolutionary from Argentina, um, Saturn in Sagittarius. People with Saturn and Madonna even, even Madonna and Michael Jackson had um, Saturn and Sagittarius and, uh, and, and Prince. And, you know, everybody, I, all three of these characters are real targets for uh, criticism. And if you're a younger person born, say, 1985 through uh, 1987, you too probably have Saturn and Sagittarius. And so you have... Um, ideals to manifest and these ideals are much more freedom oriented and it's a beautiful thing because without these kind of idealists they actually help improve our lives and it's unfortunate that there are so many intolerant forces in the world that would stifle beautiful voices of these and so you know we're, we're moving forward um, the return of the light is coming and that return to the light of the winter solstice happens exactly at 3.03 um, p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So 3.03, boom, we're from that point on, the light is growing, a seed of light is growing. I mean, we won't really notice it much until around 2nd or 3rd of February when it's St. Bridget's Day and Candlemas, but until then... Um, we're moving forward and so let's move forward sign by sign give you the skinny the rundown of what's going on in your week on the planetary persuader <laughs> <laughs>